New Zealand lies at the southwest end of a vast 40,000 kilometers belt surrounding the Pacific Ocean, known as the Ring of Fire. The majority of Earth's volcanic eruptions and earthquakes occur within this boundary, and New Zealand is no exception. The country is perched precariously at the ends of two plates, with the Pacific plate being subducted below the Australian plate. This process enables the rise of magma to the surface and is the making of many of New Zealand's volcanoes. Three main types of volcanoes exist, including volcanic fields, stratovolcanoes, and caldera volcanoes. Many of the country's volcanoes are millions of years old and long extinct. However, some are frequently active or remain dormant. New Zealand's largest city, Auckland, is built upon an active volcanic field. 53 volcanoes make up this area. Almost all are monogenetic, meaning they erupt once, then become extinct. The oldest eruption occurred 200,000 years ago, and the youngest, Rangitoto, at just 600 years ago. The next eruption is only a matter of time. Unlike most of New Zealand's volcanoes, which are the result of subductive processes, the Auckland volcanic field's origins are from a hot spot, an area approximately 100 kilometers beneath the city that melts the rock and causes it to rise. The field has produced an incredible diversity of geological wonders, including explosive craters, scoria cones, lava flows, and tunnels. The Taupo Volcanic Zone is a highly active volcanic region in New Zealand's North Island, extending from the volcanoes of White Island and Mount Ruapehu down to the Tongariro Volcanic Complex. This zone is characterized by frequent rhyolitic volcanism, responsible for some of the most explosive eruptions in New Zealand's history. The Taupo Volcanic Zone is home to numerous calderas, indicating past episodes of large-scale eruptions and caldera collapse. A notable volcano within the zone is Mount Ruapehu, an active stratovolcano. Mount Ruapehu is the highest peak in New Zealand's North Island. It is characterized by multiple summit craters, one of which hosts an acidic crater lake known for its fluctuating temperature and volume. Ruapehu's eruptive history reveals a pattern of both small-scale, steam-driven, phreatic eruptions and larger events involving ashfall, pyroclastic flows and lahars. The Tongariro Volcanic Complex consists of several overlapping volcanic cones, including Naruhoe, famed for its symmetrical shape and its depiction as Mount Doom in the Lord of the Rings films. Lake Taupo, New Zealand's largest lake, occupies a caldera formed by one of the most powerful eruptions of the past 70,000 years. In the Bay of Plenty, White Island is New Zealand's only active marine volcano. This andesitic stratovolcano, continuously emitting steam and volcanic gases, presents a stark and captivating landscape. On December 9th, 2019, a sudden and unexpected eruption occurred while tourists were exploring the crater. This violent event, characterized by a burst of ash and scorching gas, resulted in the deaths of 22 people and severe injuries to many others. Mare Island is a dormant shield volcano located approximately 40 kilometers off the coast of New Zealand's North Island in the Bay of Plenty. The island is characterized by two overlapping calderas indicating past episodes of significant eruptive activity. Mare Island's more recent eruptions produced predominantly rhyolitic obsidian lava flows creating a distinctive landscape. While currently dormant, its volcanic past and location within the active Taupo volcanic zone suggest the potential for future eruptions. Mount Taranaki is a visually striking andesitic stratovolcano that dominates the western landscape of New Zealand's North Island. Known for its near-perfect conical form, often obscured by cloud cover, it is considered one of the most symmetrical volcanic cones in the world. Mount Taranaki's formation involved a complex eruptive history with evidence of past lava flows, dome collapses, pyroclastic flows, and lahars shaping its structure. While currently considered dormant, Mount Taranaki's geological record indicates that it has the potential for future eruptions. Raoul Island, the largest and northernmost of the Kermadec Islands, represents an emergent peak of a large submarine stratovolcano. It is situated approximately 1,000 kilometers northeast of New Zealand's North Island. Raoul Island lies along the Kermadec Arc. 
volcanoes contribute significantly to New Zealand's tourism industry, attracting visitors eager to witness geothermal wonders, explore rugged volcanic landscapes, and experience the thrill of adventure tourism within volcanic regions. New Zealand's volcanoes serve as ongoing reminders of both the awe-inspiring and potentially destructive forces that shape our planet. This content is produced by Extreme Pursuit, New Zealand's Volcano Chasers.